This is Lesson 25. Use basic facts to approximate decimal quotients with two-digit divisors, reasoning about the placement of the decimal point. In Module 1, we rounded our decimal factors to estimate a product. Here we will estimate quotients by rounding the whole and the divisor. Just as before, we'll round the divisor first. 17 rounded to the nearest 10 would be 20. I need to round our whole 39 and 1 tenth to a number that can easily be divided by 20. 39 and 1 tenth would round to 40. When I divide, I can divide them each by 10. 4 divided by 2 equals 2. My estimated answer for 39 and 1 tenth divided by 17 is 2. In the second problem, we have the same digits, but our whole is one tenth the size of the original problem that we did. So our quotient, our answer, will probably also be about one tenth of this answer. The quotient will probably be about two tenths. Let's estimate. My three and ninety-one hundredths could round to four, so I have four divided by twenty. This is the same as four divided by, I'm going to decompose my 20 into 10 times 2. So this would be 4 divided by 10, and we'll divide that by 2. 4 divided by 10 is 4 tenths, and 4 tenths divided by 2 is 2 tenths. So just like we thought, our answer is a tenth of the answer in the first problem we did. 63 and 6 tenths pounds of rice were put into 73 bags. About how many pounds of rice were in each bag? When I think about this story problem, I ask myself, will the number of pounds in each bag be more than one pound or less than one pound? It should be less than one pound because there are 73 bags and only 63 pounds of rice, so there's not enough to put one pound in each bag. The question wanted to know about how many pounds of rice were in each bag, so we will estimate. First, we round our divisor. 73 would round to 70. I know that 7 times 9 is 63, so I'm going to round my whole to 63. That way I can use a basic fact to answer this. 63 divided by 70 is the same as 63 divided by 10 divided by 7. 63 divided by 10 is 6 and 3 tenths. 6 and 3 tenths divided by 7. I know 63 divided by 7 is 9, so 6 and 3 tenths divided by 7 is 9 tenths. There would be nine-tenths pounds of rice in each bag. In this problem, we are again estimating, and I notice that we have the same digits, but the whole is one-tenth the size of our whole in our first problem. So I predict that my answer will be about one-tenth of this answer, or nine-hundredths. My divisor will again round to 70. My whole will round to six and three-tenths. When I divide, I'm going to decompose my 70. I'm going to divide by 10 first, and then I'll divide that by 7. 6 and 3 tenths divided by 10 is 63 hundredths. I'm going to divide 63 hundredths by 7. I know 63 divided by 7 is 9. My answer will be 9 hundredths, which, which is 1 tenth the size of my first quotient. Here we have 11 and 72 hundredths divided by 42. We are estimating, I'll round my divisor to 40. I look at my 4, and I try to look at the first couple of digits in my whole, and I think, what number close to this will 4 go into? It goes into 12. So I'm going to round my whole to 12. I have 12 divided by 40. That is the same as 12 divided by 10 and then divided by 4. We can decompose our 40 as 10 times 4. 12 divided by 10 is 1 and 2 tenths 
divided by 4 would be 3 tenths, because 12 divided by 4 would be 3. I could solve this slightly differently. Once I have my hole and my divisor rounded, 40 is still going to be to decompose. This time I'm going to write it as 4 times 10 instead of 10 times 4. I could do my 12 divided by 4 first and then divide by 10. 12 divided by 4 is 3 and 3 divided by 10 is 3 tenths. It's exactly the same answer. It doesn't matter whether I divide by the 10 first or by the 4 first.